would have thought that a giant faceless corporation could be so evil? When fire rained from the sky, the giant steel door of Vault 101 slid closed. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 evil video game corporations. It's cute that y'all think you're the heroes of this little adventure, but you're not. Number 10, Acer Corporation, Max Payne series. The killer junkies have been high on a previously unknown designer drug, Valkyr V. Acer Corporation is a major pharmaceuticals company and the main evil entity in Max Payne. For years, they have been producing and flooding the streets with an illegal drug known as Valkyr. Project Valhalla, V for Valkyr, V for Valhalla. All of a sudden it read like a crackpot conspiracy theory. They work with mob families, employ ruthless mercenaries, and generally cause mayhem for Max Payne and the inhabitants of his world. The company is run by a maniacal businesswoman named Nicole Horn, who, beyond hooking thousands of people on a highly addictive intravenous drug, is also personally responsible for Max Payne's slow descent into revenge-fueled insanity. Vinny got needy. Just the man I've been killing to see. Payne! Number 9. Hyperion Corporation. Borderlands series. They came to Pandora to mine Iridium and bring order to the savage planet. Hyperion is a high-tech weapons manufacturer run by Handsome Jack. Time is m money. Well, it's not really money. It's more like iridium or whatever. Just get your shit together. Let's go. I got people to kill. <laughs> After the vault was discovered in Borderlands 1, the company invades the planet Pandora to mine all of its valuable iridium resources. Employing an army of high-tech robots known as Loaders, Handsome Jack unleashes this vicious robot army on Borderlands 2's heroes while shooting giant lasers from his orbiting satellite base. Luckily, you can get your hands on some powerful Hyperion-based weapons of your own and give Handsome Jack a taste of his own medicine. Hi. 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 Number 8, Altor, Red Faction, and Saints Row series. Now, I'm not here to make idle promises or vague predictions. No offense to all of you politicians out there. <laughs> with humble beginnings as an influential clothing company, Altor eventually expands to become a corporation with interests in a variety of industries, from real estate to weapons manufacturing. Some of their transgressions include gentrifying the entire Saints Row district and turning the Saints hideout into an upscale tourist trap. Finish off the Saints, or being fired is the least of your worries. In the Red Faction series, Altor was responsible for the initial colonization and mining of Mars, treating miners with forced indenture, brutal beatings if anyone speaks up, and exposure to a deadly space plague, which eventually led to an uprising from the miners. Conditions are barely livable, and the guards are everywhere. Altor doesn't care if we live or die. Did we mention that these guys started out selling t-shirts? I liked Altor a lot more when they just made clothes. Number seven, Armacam Technology Corporation, Fear Series. I have a little girl like you. Would it be all right, Alma, if I ask you some questions? Armacam is a high-tech industrial weaponry research firm headed by Genevieve Aristide and is essentially responsible for all of the events of the Fear Series. Get me the hell out of here! Their scientific experiments on young child Alma Wade threw her into a berserk rage and caused her to use her supernatural powers for evil purposes. They have also produced an army of genetically modified clones called replica forces that can be telepathically controlled. Armacam is a classic scientific megapower, using their vast resources for the sake of monetary gain and experimental warfare. Please, you're going to kill me. Number six, Atlas Corporation, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. What you're seeing is advanced warfare. Atlas has the single largest standing military in the world, but we answer to no country. Atlas is a private military corporation that rose to predominance after the second Gulf War. The head of Atlas, Jonathan Irons, seems like a nice guy, giving protagonist Jack Mitchell a new state-of-the-art prosthetic arm. That arm's worth more to me than this entire facility. A solid acting performance by Kevin Spacey as Jonathan Irons helped make him go from fatherly figure to despised villain. Of course the tragedy is, dying for what you believe in doesn't make it true. After becoming the world's leading superpower and being granted a seat on the UN Security Council, Atlas does a predictable about-face and declares war on the United States. Ballsy move. Because politicians don't know how to solve problems. But I do. Number five, Aperture Science, Portal Series. Option A, sit here, do nothing. Option B, go through there. And if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. Sorry, Black Mesa fans, those guys weren't quite as evil as Aperture. And as our data clearly shows, humans cannot be trusted. 
Originally a fairly unassuming manufacturer of shower curtains, Aperture Science slowly becomes the most influential scientific research company in the world, developing unique technologies such as the portal gun, propulsion gel, and most importantly, the AI GLaDOS. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? And that's not even taking into account the company founder, Cave Johnson, who recruited homeless people as test subjects for potentially lethal experiments. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Also, they sell deadly machine gun turrets to everyday families, but they're cute machine gun turrets. Then we box them up and ship them straight to your doorstep so you can protect the things that matter most. Good night. Number four, Rapture Farms, Oddworld, Abe's Odyssey. I used to work here. Well, I was really a slave, like all the others. Rapture Farms was a meat producing company with a dilemma. It had over farmed the creatures it needed to use as products. The Magog Cartel, a group of vile, cigar smoking bigwigs, decided to start using its own slaves, yes, slaves, as its new source of meat. This new kind of meat? What? It was us! This led to a revolt led by Abe, the game's protagonist, after he discovers the truth and tries to prevent the inevitable, his transformation into a delicious edible treat. <laughs> Number three, Abstergo Industries, Assassin's Creed series. Ah, ar, yar, maybe. <laughs> Abstergo Industries is the modern manifestation of the Templar Order. Responsible for most of humanity's technological advancements since the dawn of civilization, Abstergo also pushes a decidedly evil mandate that involves sitting at the head of a worldwide totalitarian regime that masks the barbaric nature of humanity. Now let's make sure we can break your brain, all right? The Templars were also responsible for historical atrocities, like Hitler's rise to power and the shooting of JFK. Oh yeah, and their main front in the modern world is to sell video games based on ancestral memories found in test subjects' DNA. I wonder where Ubisoft got the inspiration to write that. Maybe you saw Liberation? That was our first title powered by Animus Tech. Number two, Shinra Electric Power Company, Final Fantasy VII. Shinra is a mega corporation that generates what's known as Mako energy by drilling holes into the planet Gaia and sucking out an essence known as the life stream. That's what we call the river of life that circles our planet, giving life to the world and everything in it. But it's not just their disdain for the environment that gets them on here, as Shinra began experimenting with genetic engineering and created a class of super soldiers known as <clears throat> Soldier. In fact, the main protagonist and antagonist of Final Fantasy VII, Cloud and Sephiroth, are both former soldier experiments that decided to rebel against the company for different reasons. No matter which way you look at it, all of the events in Final Fantasy VII stem from the actions of Shinra and its high-ranking executives. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Excellent. See that Counselor Swan has sent a remnant to me. It is gratifying to see this building condemned. Fontaine is gone. Nothing. Lamb is gone. Close enough. Thousands were spared the horrors of the Holocaust by taking refuge in enormous underground shelters. You must get the sapient back. We cannot proceed without it. I know that. Number one, Umbrella Corporation, Resident Evil series. Please be silent as we reflect upon our company motto. Obedience breeds discipline. Discipline breeds unity. Unity breeds power. Power is life. A powerful scientific research firm, this company began experimenting with the zombifying T-virus in the late 70s. And by the events of the games, Violent infighting between Umbrella scientists broke out, and the T-Virus was released into one of their own facilities by an estranged employee, which of course started the chain of events where the virus would eventually spread into the nearby Raccoon City. Those monsters from Umbrella have destroyed my beautiful town! Notable for their dangerous biological experiments and complete disregard for human life, no other company even comes close to being more evil than Umbrella. They must have been used as test subjects in Marcus's research. He must have kept messing around with the mother virus. Do you agree with our list? Which corporation from video games do you think is run by evil maniacs? Good news is, we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of mantis men. 
for more not so evil top pens published every day. Be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.